Hey, hey, never mind here. We're playing Fallout 4. Uh, from my last video on tips and tricks on how to build, I got a few messages on the bunk bed and how you could maximize space. So, as you can see here, we have a small shack with three beds. Now, I'm going to uh, use my technique of the shack stairs and try and put a bunk bed together that looks semi-real, um, at least as real as you can get it in Fallout 4. <laughs> so we're gonna grab a foundation, one of the small uh, corner ones, like this one. So we're just gonna place it up here and continue on. I'm gonna place that second one there and I'm trying to get the right height to get this bed so it goes underneath. Now two two steps isn't gonna do it. So I'm gonna have to use three. Nope. <laughs> Alright. So if you had, if you didn't watch the last video, um yeah you can basically manipulate the foundations a little easier with these small steps here and get rid of that one and put it up here we don't need that anymore and there you go there's a there's a good floaty uh, foundation now if I was to remove this right now, it would just um, try and place it on the ground. So you got to use something as somewhat of a support to keep it up there. And these uh, fence posts work really well. So let's go ahead and put a, another bed up here. If you want it to look more realistic, you can use the uh, just the mattresses and just place one up here. Like so. All right, so most of the work here is done. Let's uh, let's use the select key and hold it down, and place it just so. That's pretty close, but hey, as as for a rush job, <laughs> it's pretty good. Now now you can see you can uh, grab the whole thing. But let's make this look like we want it before we try and place it in the house. So we get the four posts here and some stair steps. Let's do it around this side. Okay. And we put it, oh, there's already still a bed there. Let me uh, let me remove that. All right, so you can select the whole thing, and as you can see, both the beds stay with it. And then it's just a matter of getting it kind of in the place that you want. And there it is. You got two beds for the price of one, <laughs> and it saves a little bit of space. Now let's say you want to use. Uh, the maximum amount of beds in the minimum amount of space. Well, that's a little trickier, but it is definitely doable. So, first you're going to want to set up a base here using this technique. Oh, and spin this around. And I sped this up because it took a little bit of, you know, finagling to get things to work out right. So, just instead of removing all the bases after you're done with them, just continue to leave them where they're at and build up to where you want them to be, the height you want them to be at, and just continue to put a base down every time you want a bed. So, here's my working up to level three so 
So there's three beds. Let's uh, go ahead and do one more. And I have to kind of get up on here. There you go. And then you can remove just about everything. Oh, and I accidentally removed the bottom one. But go ahead and store each level. And as you can see, they fall down and stack. So now, well, you would have had four if I didn't <laughs> remove that that bottom one on accident. And, and that's the thing, you can't remove it in the middle of it because then it kind of um, messes up and you can't put it back. So there you go, there's three beds in one. And they are all usable. Now let's say you want to go kind of an in-between uh, both of those techniques. So you go ahead and start the same way. And if you're careful, you can kind of get them lined up a lot better. Now in this case you're going to want to use two foundations every time and just be careful to line them up as close as you can get and you have to do them in order. If you don't do them in order it's you can't place a bed on top of the um, top foundation when there's no bed in between and then try and place a bed in between. It just doesn't work. It tries to put it on the top foundation every time. So you gotta slowly get it built up. And it's kinda difficult when you're looking up at it, so you have to climb up on the last one. There we go. Then you can remove everything else. And you have four beds. Now let's uh, if we try to move this all at once, it's not going to work. Uh, you have to have something kind of connecting all three. So we'll just use this wall here. I tried to use a pole, um, and that works sometimes, but in this case it didn't because I didn't line them up just right. So I'll remove that pole. And now we can use the select key to group select. There you go, and we'll move it in here. Oh wow, that's a bad, uh, it's a bad angle. All right, let me grab it. A little, little different angle. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and then go ahead and get it kind of where you want it. Place it down. And there you go. You got four beds, where there used to be only one. And it looks semi-normal <laughs> and they're all usable so now in this shack we have four beds three beds and two beds so maximize space and it still looks decent alright this has been Nevermind please subscribe and like take it easy bye bye